traveling out of the country this year because my dad is coming home to spend a long time vacation with us <laughs> anyways we're going on the road trip to Ibadan tomorrow yeah I'm so excited diamond I've been calling you and you've not been answering I'll, I'll call you back mom you promised to knock I promised to knock I've been screaming at my lungs are you deliberately ignoring me no Mommy, I was on a call. Diamond, get up and come and help me in the kitchen, please. Well, mommy, what? I'm on a call. Really? You can get back to that call when you're done cooking. Besides, I thought you told your dad you were going to cook for him. Oh, right, that's true. That should be landing in about an hour. Mm -hmm. Wow. I want to be picking him up from the airport. No, we're not. He's coming back on his own. Let's go. But. Why are we to be picking up? Isn't that what families do? He said he doesn't want to stress us, okay? So he's coming back on his own. Okay. Should we surprise him? Diamond, maybe next time, please, okay? Come help me in the kitchen. Mommy. Really? Come and help me, please, and stop your negotiations, please. Uh, I mean, that girl sucks at everything she does. Babs, we don't go around firing people here. But she has to go. Okay, I gave her a job on the last project to send me in two days. But this girl literally took one month. One month. Who does that? That she's slow sometimes doesn't mean she doesn't know her job. Are you now defending her? Uh, yes. Imagine you when you just started. Were you always this fast? Wait. <laughs> Is Mr. Peter in town? That obvious. I mean, you always have this thing with you. And your sparkle leads. <laughs> Give me my report and scrum. Okay. But please, talk to Jessica or I will do the firing myself. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me, did something happen to make you a boss? You suddenly became the boss? I'm a professional assistant. Drama queen. Don't tell me I know. I've been a bad friend. I have been a bad friend, I know. I haven't seen you in... Is it five months? 
<laughs> the thing is, I just realized that if I don't check up on you, you don't, you never check up on me. I'm sorry. You will not believe that. In the last months, I can't remember having more than four hours of sleep. Oh, wow. In the last months, yeah, oh. but we're loving it <laughs> because your business is expanding. Yes, we're like grabbing everything. You know, like I remember when it all started. Do you know the other day I was checking? I don't know what I was looking at. I was like, "What? Diamond Designs is ten years in August." Hmm. I'm super, super proud of you. Thank I'm you. I'm always telling people that I know the CEO of Diamonds Materials. <laughs> she might. And your bestie, don't forget that. Forever. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, girl. I'm so proud of you. Ah, trust me. We've done well. We have. I am so proud of you. Do you think it's beans running a restaurant in this Buhari economy? It's not. My sister. Kudos to you. Please don't remind me. It's a struggle, literally, to get cooks nowadays. Like, I don't know how you do it. It's a struggle. I cannot do hospitality business. <laughs> I would just kill somebody's child. <laughs> oh my God, so, it's pizza. Ah, this is gone, gone off to a business trip this morning. Mm -hmm. You can imagine what the next two weeks will be like. Oh, you're going to miss him so much. That reminds me. <laughs> <laughs> you know. You are so lucky. You're like 14 years in marriage now. Mm, 16. And he still dotes on you and spoils you. My husband, he doesn't even realize that I exist. He does. Stop it. How is my girl child? <laughs> having a birthday on Sunday. On wait, Sunday. wait. She's going to be 13. Yep. I'm a terrible godmother. I second it. <laughs> but I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, I've seen that everywhere is busy out here. It's. I wanted. I wanted us to do lunch or something. We can do lunch. Or you could have brought me food. <laughs> Owner of a restaurant. Okay, tell you what. Next weekend, my place will do lunch on you. Yes. Says my friend that has a restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's on me now, so you don't get to pay. I just come and eat out. You don't talk to Akago. <laughs> <laughs> oh Good to see you, boo. Let me just let you. My diamond angel. Junior, how are you? I'm here. Hey, 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 come, hey, come, come. We're not gonna fight today, okay? Not today. Dad, Junior is being naughty again. Junior, what did you do to your sister? Give it to me. Give it to me. I mean, this is your sister's property. What's it in your position? That's what he always does. He takes my stuffs and laughs at them. Junior, we're going to have a long talk. I mean, your sister's privacy, you should respect it. She's a growing woman, you know. So what do you say to your sister? Sorry. You better make that apology sincere. I'm sorry. My princess, he has apologized. Let's forgive him, okay? Where is your mom? Oh, she's in the kitchen. Kitchen. Surprise time. Okay. Hi, ah. hey, baby. I missed you. Why are you acting like you didn't miss me, baby? It's me, I'm back home. So, what are we having for dinner? Food. Food. Why are you frowning now? You missed me. Are you just accepted that you missed me? Babe, 
You have been away for three months and this is your welcome home? Is this your home? Again? Okay, fine. Fine. I got something nice for you. Thanks. Just thanks. You don't want to say it? Dad! Dad, let's go play a game. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, hold on. Please, Dad. Please. Okay, 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 fine. Babe, I'll, I'll play with the kids. Let's go. I'm so glad you're home. I'm glad to be home too, my love. So, Dad, would you take me to my friend's birthday party? His name is Kenne. It's next weekend. Please. Kenne? Mm -hmm. Who is Kenne? A boy she likes. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Angel, wouldn't you want to go on a road trip to Ibadan with us? Of course I do. But we'll all be back before then. The party is like weeks after. So. See. Now, what time are we leaving tomorrow? Junior has early at 7 a.m. Goody! Daddy, please. I want everyone to meet you. All of my friends, they've met mom. I really want to show you all. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'd love to meet them too. So that's a yes? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to update my diary. <laughs> Yeah. Sit back. You can do that later. Eat your food. No. Boy, Boy. It's true. So, how has the love of my life been? Mm. You know, I got you the perfume you love so much. And the car you wanted, I, I ordered for you too. <gasps> to get here in two months. What? You bought mom a new car? Mm -hmm. Mom, you're so lucky. Mm. Oh, okay. Let me get the fruit salad. What's up, guys? Did anything happen while I was away? No. You enjoy your food? He takes after me, but I want him to take his studies here just like his sister. If that color looks good on you, then it suits your color. I was thinking, what if we travel abroad later in the year? I'm sure the kids will like it. Aren't you coming from abroad? Or you want to go back to where you're coming from? What was that for? What are you talking about? Is everything all right? Babe, calm down and talk to me. What is the problem? Peter, I'm very tired. Very tired. Listen, this is the last time you're going to come here and meet us here. Yeah, because uh, the next time you come, we're gone. What are you talking about? Rachel. When will you make an honest family of us? What, what are you saying? It's been 13 years. I'm tired. Me and the kids, we can't go on like this. Go on like how exactly? I mean, haven't I done enough and given you and the kids the life you want? We want to be with you. Like a family. We're tired of staying apart. Babe, we talked about this. And you know it can't happen. Why? Because you can't, you can't stay with us. You prefer to stay away. Rachel, this was not the agreement we had. Why are you sounding so different? I'm tired. Look, I've changed my mind, okay? I, I can't do this long-distance relationship again. You know what? I think we should get some sleep. I have tomorrow journey to make. 
and I'm driving. I'm trying for your wallet. If you like, avoid this conversation all you want. I've made up my mind. Is it that you are with us or you're not? Please put off the lights when you're tired. Women. Charity, I am so, so, so sorry. I promise I am going to make it up. I, I just can't make it up. I will explain when I see you. Yes, this is she. Uh, sorry, say that again. <laughs> that is absolutely not possible. Who? Uh, okay, I, I'm on my way. Is this a joke? I received the phone call. I, I was called. Yes. Are you Mrs. Osai? Yes. Okay. Um, take her to the doctor's office. Okay. Please come with me. Thank you, nurse. Good morning, ma'am. Please have a seat. Um, doctor. Good morning. I, doctor, I think there's some sort of mixed up somewhere. Uh, I, there's a mix up because my, my husband is in Atlanta on a business trip. Do you mean to say we called the wrong person? Yes. Absolutely. Well, you guys did. We are really sorry about that, madam. Just that the number was registered as my wife on his phone, and that was the reason why we called you. Well, that's my registered ID on my husband's phone. I mean, most husbands register their wives like that so i don't think that's do special. you want to see the personal belongings of the patient just so you're sure it's the one 
Okay, well, like I said, he cannot be the one because he's in Atlanta. Please, and madam. You people absolutely have the. Please, just take a look. That's my husband's wallet. Why is it not in his possession? What? This, maybe he was mobbed. This, this is his. It is? Yes. My, well, maybe he was mobbed. How, how do you have this? Would you like to see the patients? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. Please come with me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Doctor. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is going on? Nigeria for Atlanta end up in your intensive unit unconscious. I mean, I didn't travel. How? I'm supposed to know everything. I'm his wife. Like I, I, I don't, I don't understand. How did this happen? Why am I clueless? I'm sorry, Doctor. I'm asking you all the wrong questions because I'm trying to make sense of what is going on. But let me let me ask you one right question. Is it going to be all right? It was a serious accident, Madam. Two other occupants died at the spot. Just two people survived. Died. Yes. What car? He, he, he didn't live with his car. Died. Well, you may have to speak to the police about the car. But it was badly damaged. Who are these people? Are they like business associates? I feel like people I have to now start looking for their families or something. Like, I don't even know what this is. I don't think so, much. Right. He well, could have died. A woman with two children was in the car with him. But unfortunately, the woman and the little boy died before they got to the hospital. Just the little girl survived. What girl? Who 
is she supposed to be? From what we gathered, her name is Diamond Asai. Wait, D Diamond? Yes, Diamond Asai. Her brother was Peter Osai and their mother, Rachel Akiola. Osai, that, that's our surname. Can I have access to maybe their belongings or something that can point me to where, uh, who she's supposed to be? Sure. Please follow me to the office. Dear Diary, Daddy is home from the US and we are going to have so much fun as a family. Daddy comes visiting once every three months and I love it when he comes. He brings home lots of goodies when he's home. We are all happy, especially mom. Not only is he taking me to Kenneth's party, he is also driving us all the way to Ibadan to check out the sights and sounds. I can't wait for tomorrow morning. See you then. Yes. 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 
just kill me, bitch, just kill me, kill me. Something to eat. No, I want to see my daddy. You will. The doctor will be with you soon. Hello, Diamond. How are you? Uh, how do you know my name? I saw your diary. I'm sorry I opened it without your permission. So, what are you doing here? I want to see my family. It's okay. You need to rest, okay? What happened to me? I remember seeing broken glasses. It's okay. I remember being in a crash. Calm down. Calm down. You need to rest. But first, tell me your favorite meal. Let me get you something to eat. I don't want to eat anything. You have to eat, okay? You have to eat something. I want to see my daddy. Nurse. Please get us something to eat. Okay, doctor. You'll be fine, okay? <laughs> you okay? Oh, this is my daddy. Calm down, you feel. Oh. You know, you're such a lucky girl. You only sustain minor injuries. I want to see my daddy. You will. Relax. You'll see them soon. Okay? Let me get you your meal. Alright? Contacted Mrs. Diana Saif. Yes, I did several, but she's not taking her calls. She's the one that can handle things from here. Do you think she'll come back to the hospital? Uh, doctor, the people that were involved in the accident with the man, are they his family? Oh, yes, they are. Ah. Wow, this is sad. Such a beautiful woman. Why didn't her husband just, you know, just divorce her instead of doing this to her? We don't know. I remember, we are not allowed to gossip about our patients. Is that okay? Okay, doctor. Well, it's unfortunate she's the only one that can handle things from here. She has to take care of not just her husband, but also the surviving child and prepare a burial arrangement for the deceased woman and the child. My God. It's quite unfortunate, if I may say. Anyway, you can leave now. Um, check on the patient in Ward 3. Okay, doctor. Yeah.
Diane. Huh? You may have said that you've been acting strange all day. Even your PA said that you didn't come to work yesterday. And an all effort to reach you was abortive. That's because I've been here planning how to kill myself. What do you mean by you want to kill yourself? All those quick poison. You just take five seconds, someone is gone. That's the one I'm looking for. Would you stop sounding ridiculous? What do you think Peter would do if he saw you in this situation? Like, what could have happened that would make you do all of this? Peter, you see? <laughs> You're scaring me. You're scaring me. Peter is in hell. What? Sister, if you ask me who I go ask. Now, wow. So that patient has been running two families at the same time. Eh? Fear men. That is not all. Now that his mistress and their son is dead, what happens to their daughter? Wait, do? <laughs> what do you mean? I think that woman does not have any family. Because nobody has called her phone since the accident. Hey, <laughs> then it is the man's legal wife that will take care of the game. That's a serious problem. <laughs> I'm serious Wahala. If I were the girl, I would have died and joined my mother and my brother. How can you say that? Yes, now, doesn't that make sense? I mean, the mother is dead, so has the son. And the man is in coma. Who knows if he's going to get out of it? Who's terrible? What are you saying? Who is dead and who is in a coma? What are you doing out here? Who is dead? And who is in a coma? It's okay. Leave me alone. Come on. No! 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 Who's this diamond girl? She's Peter's daughter. Peter's daughter? What do you mean, Peter's daughter? My husband had a second family in this Lagos. I knew nothing 
No. <laughs> this is a bit confusing. Peter, he's a good guy. <laughs> what is confusing? Are you not reading his daughter's diary? What is confusing? Wait. Peter can't do this to you. Peter. Peter. Peter won't do this to you. No. Do you want me to take you to the hospital? Maybe you need to see him. See the evidence to start to believe. Wait. <laughs> I saw him there. I was trying to convince my eyes, like, no, that's not your husband. You spoke to your husband when he landed in Atlanta, but I could see that that is Peter in that hospital bed. <laughs> he couldn't. Charity. You are reading his daughter's diary. What else do you need? <laughs> do you know that the most ridiculous thing is that the hospital keeps calling me? The, the hospital. They want me. That nobody consulted before they went off to have a whole second family. They want me to be the one making decisions. They want me to be the one to, to, to take care of that prostitute's corpse and that of her son. They, they, they also want me to be the one to take responsibility of of Peter, who is in coma? And his bastard girl. Yeah, baby, I'm here. Thanks, baby. Okay, gently. Oh. Is that what you want? Anything you want, I'll get it for you. I am sure Diamond is going to be a foodie like you. I've been eating non-stop since I got pregnant. So I'm a foodie now? Mm-hmm. You know one thing, I think you're going to spoil this baby. Oh, wait a minute, how did you know it's a girl? It's a girl. My first child. It's a girl. No, it can't be a girl. It's my child. My first child is going to be a boy. That's all. And when he's girl. born, he's going to be Peter. Jimmy. Nice. But that one is a girl. I can feel it. I don't want to argue with you. Let's Good. wait. Let's wait Good. till the baby is born. <laughs> you like the food? Yes, thank you. Now keep watching. No, I want juice. Where do Fruit. I get juice from now? Don't have. Okay, I'll go get juice, but now drink water. No, it will make me throw up. Okay, it's true. The trouble is something. You like it? I'm a good cook, you know. Yes, nice. nice. Talk about this. Here. No, I want to talk about it. <laughs> Hello. I mean, you just left the hospital where you spent two weeks after the birth of a child. You deserve I, some rest. I don't want to 
rest because I don't want. I want to want us to talk about this. This is serious. <laughs> Are we going to pretend that, that, that what the doctor said is not true? That somehow this will miraculously not be real. It's okay. It's okay, please. I want children. I understand, but just calm down. Oh, children. <laughs> can, can you stop crying? Can you stop crying, me? Please. Jeez. Wait, the diamond girl that owns this diary? Charity, you, you're not connecting. Her name is Diamond. Her name is Diamond. Our daughter's name that Peter fought me for weeks. He took my child's name and gave it to me. This stranger. <laughs> I can't grow. I don't think this was ever real for him. <laughs> no. I think I was the one deceiving myself. Peter never loved me. <sighs> I, I, I don't even know what to say to you. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. Everything we can to make sure it comes out of this, okay? <laughs> you just have to calm down. Please. You know your condition, please just relax. What about my mom? What of Junior? I'm sorry. Can I see them? I'm afraid not. Why? I can't make a sort decision for you because I'm not your guardian. We don't know when we'll wake up. Mommy. It's okay. Junior. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Please. It's okay. Please calm down. Calm down. Please. Just take it. Take it easy. Damn on. Listen. Take it easy. All will be well. Okay? Look at me. Take it easy. Please. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Do you have any relations we can call to come and get you? Mm. Not even for my mother's side. <laughs> my mom's parents died when she was 18. She's been living on her own ever since then. She was an only child. So no one? Just calm down. Diamond, look at me. Calm down, okay? All will be well. I'll show you. Doctor. Yes. Doctor, yes. please, what's going to happen to me? I'm the only one here. 
What's going to happen to me? Damn. Man. You're lucky to be alive. You have to live the life your mother and your brother didn't have the chance to. You have to be strong for them. Please. Okay? You have to be strong. They won't stop calling my phone. I have to go sort it out. Do you want my driver to take you there? No, it's okay. I'll drive myself. You can eat something before you leave. I'm good. So you're going to make arrangements for the burial and everything else? I'm brightly. She's the wife and uh, I am the side chick. Don't say that. <laughs> she has two kids. Two children. Where am I? But you had a child as well. She died. And it damaged your uterus. That's why you're going to have any more kids. Why don't you remind kids? me. Charity, don't remind me. So what about the girl? What girl? The diamond girl. Don't call her that. That's her name. Don't! Retrieve the remaining items from the police. I have. Thank you for coming. I know this is a very difficult time for you, Mrs. Osai, but you are the only one that can handle this situation. And since you've paid for the burial costs, the hospital mug we under the burial preparation of the deceased. Can I go now? Yes, you're free to go. But your husband is still in the intensive unit. And we need you to come check up on him from time to time. But I assure you, we'll do all we can to make sure he comes out of this. Do whatever you want. And the girl, she has nowhere to go to. And since she's the surviving child of your husband, you are automatically a guardian. You have to go with her now. Is this a joke? She's ready.
Uh, Ma, would you want something to eat? I'm good. Auntie Charity said I should make sure you eat. Do you have um, pineapple? Yes, ma. Hmm. Maybe with carrots. I don't, I don't think I can take anything solid. So make a smoothie, put ginger in it. Okay, ma. Uh, uh, ma. The girl, ma, she's still outside. It's raining, ma. Me up at the gate and I ran as fast as I could into the house. Oh. oh, why do you make me worry? Why? Eh? Why didn't you pick the umbrella when I told you to? I'm sorry. And you know you catch cold easily. You do, just like your dad. Eh? I mean, not like dad. Yes, you are. Huh? Mommy. Yeah? Why don't we live with dad? That's because he lives abroad. But what? the other day, I saw his company card and he said it's here in Lagos. Is that so? Yeah. Mm. So if it's here in Lagos, okay. why doesn't he live with us? Then, can you go up and change? You ask too many questions. And make sure you don't ask your daddy that question when he comes. Oh, go, 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 please. I'm not taking you to any hospital, man. Go, go, move. Go and change. And next time, make sure you pick your umbrella before you go to school. Of going back and forth. Wait, what is wrong with you? I mean, why today? Why now? Peter, she didn't give you any child. I gave you two beautiful children. Yet you choose her over us every time. She is my wife. And I'm what? A loose woman that opened her leg for you to have your babies. A baby mama for you, can right? You, can, can you stop? Stop what? Stop what? You know what? Is it that you divorce her and marry me? Or else, I will pick my kids and I will go. I mean, you cannot say that. These kids bear my name. They are mine. Let me see you train them without me. Yeah. Or you think she will accept them? Does she even know we exist? Babe. Tell me. Babe. I mean, we've been living peacefully with this agreement for a very long time. Why do you want to have a change of mind all of a sudden? Your daughter is growing up. And she's asking me questions I don't have answers to. Questions like what? Questions that make me ashamed to tell her that I'm not legally married to you. That I'm only but a side chick. Can you stop? Stop what? Peter, you know, it was, it was nothing when they were kids. But not anymore. I can't keep lying to them that you don't stay in this town, that you live abroad. Rachel! Stop! Listen. I, I, wait, wait, wait. You love her, right? Have you ever loved me? Can you stop, Rachel? Can you stop? Stop saying stop. You know, I didn't think much of this before. You know, 
as long as you provided and I had a good roof over my head, I was okay. So what changed now? I mean, I'm working very hard to make sure you don't lack a thing. You don't get it, do you? Peter, I'm afraid. Afraid of what? Afraid that my children will grow up and think me nothing but a loose woman. A mistress, a home wrecker. They, they won't be proud to call me mom. You know what? <laughs> you have a choice to make. Is it that us or her? And be careful what you do next because if you don't choose us, you'll meet an empty house by the time you come back. Wait, 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 wait. I, are you giving me God? Dad. Um, Dad. You said we'll be leaving for about number seven. And we already have an hour late. <laughs> yeah, um, yes, darling. Uh, mommy and I were just um, discussing some issues. Yeah. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay, I'll join you now. And all the truthful lies I got used to it all now. Take your bags. I bought the hot water for you. Thank you. You can keep your bag there. Don't worry. You stay with me here. Um, when you're done beating, I'll use the balm on you so you don't catch cold. Thank you. Don't thank me. You're lucky that I'm a nice person. I have been working for my madam for two years now. I have not seen her this angry. What did you even do to her? It's okay. Go and take your bath. Go now. Hurry up. Jemaine. Jemaine. Uh, yes, ma'am. I'm off. Good morning, ma. Good morning. Uh, ma, are you going to the office? Yes. Uh, ma. Um. I want to know what to do about the girl in my room. Make sure everywhere is clean in this house by the time I get back from work. Eh? Yes, ma. She didn't say anything to me. She did not even answer my question. Now, wow. You said you love me and that you leave me. Mrs. Hyde, the name is Diane. Use it. No, I mean, that's not what we've been calling you for years now. Then do a memo to every member of staff. From today, going forward, I would like to be addressed as Miss Diane. But, but ma'am, listen, I know your husband is sick and he's in coma. But trust me, he's going to come out stronger. Baba Chunde! What did I just say? Now run along and do as you're told. And do not budge into my office again. Not today. Get out! Over 
as soon as I got your call, what happened? Sorry, I'm trying to breathe. This fool. This idiot. This scum of the earth. That I called a husband has been spending excessively on his mistress and her children. No idea what I keep uncovering. What? It's almost like I've been blind. How did you find that out? This is a laptop. This laptop. Do you know? I used to laugh at women that go through their husband's phone or personal things. I'm like, what are you looking for? There's no relationship without trust. Mm -hmm. Don't that fire trust. Are you for real? Don't that put this trust. This man. I am feeling like the most stupid woman on earth. Oh my God. Did you know he bought a whole house? Huh? I didn't know. That's not all. There's, there's a latest car pre-ordered to arrive in two months. If you're going through the receipts that I'm seeing, you would think Peter is a billionaire the way he's spending. This is so baffling. How do I not know this? Like I'm deceiving myself, I'm a working woman, you know, and then I'm thinking everything is all right with the relationship. Like, how do you have a whole ass family? And then you, 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 you're shuttling. Oh my God. I said, oh I wanted God. to get up from there so, so I can. supposed to do oh what am I supposed to do come, come charity down. tell me like what should I do come down. I, I can, you know, can, can you find the house I mean so that you know where you lived with this woman the address is on the deed but can't just Walk into a house that I don't live in and say what? Men are a disgrace. I don't know what to do. Wait, okay. Um, what about Diamond? She can go in. Besides, she used to live there. I'm sorry, ma. It's my fault. You're fired. Ma, you please, please, please right ma. Now. Follow ma. me now. God, ma, please. I'm sorry, ma. Forgive me, ma. Hey, God. I will not put my for their matter. Could you mind see your life? See how you won't come more food for your mouth. Uh, ma, please. Hey, God. What do I do? Hey, God. <laughs>
Oh, that's supposed to be me. Oh, really? Yeah. Babe, you're that messing is. up our bed. This. I will clean it up later. Look, you've got to respect this place, man. It's sacred. <laughs> is your seriousness for me? Of course. I told you before, I don't joke with my marriage and definitely not my matrimonial bed. Of course, this is our sanctuary. You know, I'm always so happy whenever I'm with you. I'm the happiest. I don't know, but in this place, it just feels like um, we're just the only people in this world. But well, we are. <laughs> yeah, true. You know what? I pray to God that I don't know. There will never be, but there will never be a better and more sacred place for me than this place. Too. Now you eat gently and not mess up this bed. Promise. What will distract you? What will distract you? It doesn't have to be. And um, open it. It's not an hour anniversary. What? You don't like it? I love it, but maybe can we afford this as casual gifts? It's... Babe, come on. It's you. When it comes to you, nothing is too expensive. I love it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, baby. For the moment I thought you didn't like it. I do. <laughs> oh my god. This is not oh. Oh. He made you diamond. That was my daughter's name. I chose the name. Oh, who does that? Who does that? Like I've lost everything. And, 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 oh. Peter, God will punish you. No, no, no. I will do the punishing myself. Ah, ah, no, no, no. I want to burn this house down. I want to burn it. You fainted. Oh. I called your phone and Diamond picked it up. 
For who? Tayan. I'm worried about you. Do you want me to book for a session or something? I'm okay. But I will live my life exactly how I want to. But Diane, you're not stable. I feel responsible for putting you in this situation. Please stop it. I... What are you doing? I am going to... What are you doing? I'm not supposed to settle. You are better wake up. You are better wake up and answer me some good questions that I have for you. Don't you even dare die on me. You are better wake up and tell me what I ever did to you to deserve this. This is why you never even considered adoption or surrogacy. Like a whole family for 14 or 13 years. Did you even love me? You never did, obviously, because how can you do this to me? No, no, you, you were here like, like even if you, like, if you die, I'm going to chase you and I'm going to wake you up and I'm going to kill you myself. <laughs> you will not die on me. You are going to answer me, okay? You will tell me, you will tell me how dare you do this to me, Peter. Where is that daughter of a whore? Where is she? Diamond or whatever they call you. Where are you? I want you to pack all your things and leave my house immediately. Ma, please. Please, ma. Do you understand me? Please. Am I communicating? Please, ma, I don't have anywhere to go. Please, ma. Do I look like I care? I said, pack your things and leave. Shame when your stupid prostitute of a mother was busy parading herself, parading my husband as her own. She didn't think this thing was going to condition. Please, ma. I don't know. Leave my house. If I see one single tears, I swear to God, if I see so one drop from that your face, beat, I will beat you black and blue day, Grace. How dare you? Your mother has met me. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Come. I am not going to touch you. Go there. Where were you running to? Oh, you think you will run out and leave your nonsense things in my house? Please, ma, please. I, I don't have anywhere to go. Please, ma. You don't want to leave. You do not want to leave. Fine. Stay. This is your father's house. Stay. But believe me, <laughs> I will make sure that you enjoy your stay, princess. Wake up! How 
dare you be sleeping by this time? My friend, will you stand up from there? Sweep this whole house from top to finish. Go back to sleep. Go up! Go back to sleep. Beg auntie, go now. Go and find somewhere else and sleep. Please, please now. I don't have another place to sleep. That is not my business. So. Do you want to put me in trouble? Please. This woman will sack me because of you. Okay, let me sleep on the floor. I can sleep on the Don't floor. sleep anywhere in this room at all. Go. I'm very hungry and I'm tired. I've been waiting ever since, since morning. How is that my business? Please just go. Go. Please, I checked the main house. Please just help. Let me just sleep here for the. Go. Please go. Just go. You put me in trouble. I don't want her to come here and see us. Go now.
steak. Eat it. Thank you. Use this and cover your body. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm being mean to you, but I'm afraid. I don't want to go back to my village. Treating her will solve anything. Babe, you're just causing more trouble for yourself. Peter has to pay for what he has done to me. Yes, agreed, but she's innocent. Innocent? It is a direct product of my husband's affair with her mother. How is that innocence? But you do realize that her mother died in the process. Her brother is dead as well. How much more punishment literally can a 13-year-old endure? How much? I don't care. Diane, you're just being bitter. And bitterness would lead you nowhere. If you want to take revenge on someone, let it be Peter. Abandon him. Leave him in the hospital. Stop visiting him at the hospital. I don't visit him. But you're still paying for his upkeep, his medical upkeep. That's why he's still stuck up with the, the machine and all of those things. I'm not a murderer. I wish I was. I wish I could squeeze out his heart and rip it apart. Break it into a million pieces. Ensure that he's hurting as much as I am. Apparently, I'm a coward. You're not a coward. You're a woman that was betrayed by someone you love the most in your life. Please, I beg you, don't exact your vengeance on Diamond. She's as innocent as you are. I feel like my life is a scam. Like, was any of it even real? Ever, was it? Did Peter even love me? You know, I begged him. I begged him for months. I said, let's adopt. It's like, no, 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 no. I love our life the way it is. My husband wasn't complaining about our childlessness. Who am I to keep pushing it? So I stopped nagging. <laughs> so he held on to me with one hand. He was dragging a whole, they saw her whole family with the other. Why didn't he ask me for a divorce? If he didn't want this life. He could have asked, oh, I no longer want this. This is not the marriage I want it to be. I could understand. It probably would have hurt me. It would. But I won't I won't be feeling like I'm feeling now. I'm I, I feel empty. I feel empty. Every day that this girl is in this house. It's a constant reminder of Peter's betrayal. I can't. Nobody is going to force you to keep her here. You don't have to take care of her. Nobody will force you or blame you for it. <sighs> Tell you what. I think I have an idea.
What if Pisa wakes up and asks for her whereabouts after we've dropped her at the orphanage? Let him wake up. I want him to wake up. I'm praying for him to wake up so I can stab his heart myself. Let him wake up and ask me. Diane, I know that you're hurting and I'm hurting on your behalf. But you see, when it comes to Peter, once he wakes up, please, just the best thing is for you to just see their old ties with him. Please. When he wakes up, <laughs> I will do more. I'm going to burn down all his properties. I'm, I'm like, like this, waiting for him to wake up. Because he will come and face me and answer some questions. Losing you is the greatest loss. Don't stoop that low. You're a strong woman and you're running a really successful business. You don't need him. I know. But you know, let's just go to the orphanage and go and get inquiries about this diamond girl so we can like, literally just drop her off. And if for some reason Peter gets round and... Hello? Yes? I can't believe how you make me feel now. Now my heart is beating by the heart away. You said you love me and that you won't leave me. Heaven knows I've been here doing all for you. Now I don't know what to feel anymore. I don't know what to I'm really sorry. We try what we could. This is the heart. Nurse, come on. I've got nowhere to go. Who can help you heal your heart, heal your soul, when it feels like you lost it all? Who can help you heal your heart, heal your soul, when it feels like you lost it all? Die. Leave this mess. So many questions. I'm just there. I don't have my answers. I'm so angry. Let me go get you water. 
Thank you. Taman, please you go inside. Go inside. Charity, I don't know how I'm supposed to feel. I was so angry at him. I was so mad at him for everything that he has put me through. You know, but I never wanted him dead. You know, you shared what sixteen years with this man. You can't hate him completely, you know. You can't. You can't. <laughs> Charity. Now that he is gone. What am I supposed to do? How? What am I supposed to do with her? He was buried today. Please, let's talk about all of this some other time, please. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Are you sure? You know the best thing for you is to stay away from madam. Did you notice how everywhere was peaceful the past two weeks? Madam did not even have your time. She was busy planning the barrier. Um, I'll make a maid's uniform for you by next week. What's it, Jomo? I'm scared. What about? What will happen to me now? I don't understand. Before, when my dad was alive, he was in a coma. But he was still alive. I always hoped that one day, She'd wake up and take care of me. But now I realize that that's never going to happen. <sighs> you remind me of myself. When my father died, his second wife turned my sister and I to house help. And since our mother died when we were little, we had no one. So you don't have relations like me? Who relations help? It's better you know from the start that you have no one. So what will happen now? What if Auntie doesn't like me? Ah. Then you leave. Ah. So yeah. Think hard. You must have someone somewhere. Doesn't your mother have a family? I don't know. My brother and I were always worried that we knew none of our family members. Friends? I think she had a few friends. I remember Auntie Sharon and Auntie Linda. But Auntie Linda relocated to the UK last year. Uh -huh. That's a good option. Call your mom's friend. Tell her to come and get you. Yeah, but 
I lost Antoinda's contacts. We lost touch. What of your Auntie Sharon? Do you have her number? Good, call her. Tell her to come and take you. If you don't have her time, I'll buy for you. There's a time. Okay. Um, excuse me. I'll be right back. Hello? Hello, Auntie Sharon. It's me, Diamond. Oh, my darling. How are you? I heard you guys went on a road trip with your dad. Are you back? Tell your mom to get me goodies. <laughs> Auntie Sharon. What's going on? Why are you crying? <laughs> Auntie Sharon, please, can you come and take me? Me and she'll soon throw me out of the house. The line is breaking, honey. I can't hear you. Please come and take me, please. I promise I won't bother you, please. I can't hear you. Auntie Sharon. I can't hear you. Auntie Sharon. Auntie Sharon. What are you doing here? Um, Jumai went to the market, so I, I brought your thing. I'm not asking about what you're doing in my room. Why are you still in my house? Oh, um, Ma, I don't have anywhere else to go. How is that my business? I mean, I, I called my mom's friend. That's because your mother probably slept with her husband. Because your mother was useless. Will you get out of my house? Leave me here! I thought I warned you to stay away from her. I just wanted to give her the tea. Who sent you? Do you see what you have done? Please, can you help me beg her, please? I don't even need her to take care of me. I can work hard. I don't have anywhere else to go. I just need a place to stay, please. Uh, just go. Take your bags and leave. Take. When my father died, I left my village with the little money I had, which I stole from my stepmother. I put it the bus and came to Lagos. See, you have to stand up on your feet, okay? You have to take care of yourself. Just go. For me, like you, I can't survive on my own. You're right, Shen. Please go. You really have to go. Or Madame will send me away to you. Yeah. <laughs> 
不。What are you doing out here? Madam sent me out of the house. Oh my goodness. Mom, oh, please, can you help me? I can do anything. I can cook, I can clean, I, I can work hard. Mom, oh, please, just help me. I don't have anywhere to go. It's okay, it's okay. Come, let's, let's go inside. No, she's going to get angry at you, please. I've known her since we were kids. Don't worry, she won't. Bring your bag. Are you sure? Look, she's not a bad person. She's just hurt. Your mom and your dad really hurt her. I know. You do? Yes, my dad, my mom told me it's something about my dad having another wife. You know what, it doesn't really matter, okay? Let's just go inside. Bring your Are bag. You sure? I'm sure bring your bag. Ma, she's going to get angry. And stop calling me Ma. Call me Charity. I'm Auntie Charity. Come, let's go. Come. Thank you, Ma. Don't worry. Just call me Auntie Charity. Let's go. Open the gate. Open the gate. You have to be kidding me. Like, seriously. Whose side are you on? Yours. Then why did you bring her back here? I'm not doing this for Peter. And I'm not doing this for her late mom. I'm doing this because I'm a mom too. And Princess is almost the same age. Wait, so you're saying I'm like this because I'm not a mother? How can you say that? That's not what I'm saying. Look, just let her stay here. She's Peter's daughter. You, this is his house. And it's my house too. The last time I checked, Peter didn't leave a will. If I say she's not staying, she's not staying. Look, you don't have to give her a good life. You don't even have to give her luxury, just a roof over her head. Charity, you have no idea the constant battle to try to move past all this. I am... Constantly in my head questioning if this is karma or something. Having her here is making it impossible for me to move on. I understand that. But I don't want the hurt of what you've gone through. I don't want it to change you to someone that you won't recognize. Please, just do this from the goodness of your heart. Please. Hmm. My, out of the goodness of my heart. <laughs> okay. <sighs> out of the goodness of my heart. I can't believe how you make me feel now. Now my heart is the hard way you said you love me and that you won't leave me ever knows I've been here doing it all for you now I don't know what to feel anymore I don't know what to be Sign and song, the 
Everyone needs waiting at the conference. I'll be right there. <sighs> 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 The doctor said that your high blood pressure has gone off the roof. <sighs> Diane, please don't do this to yourself. Peter isn't worth it. It's been three months and some days since all this happened. I've really been trying to move past it. Charity. I <laughs> didn't move past something like this. I am trying. I am. Do you think we should seek professional help? I don't think that will. Do you know what? Maybe you can sell your house and move out. You think? Yes. You know, starting afresh with life in a new place. It has a way of burying old wounds, you know. I'll think about it. Please just do me a favor and make a conscious effort to be happy. Please. Help me with you all the way. Okay?
Tuma, please, your food will soon be ready. Tuma, it's okay. Take your time. Uh, please, ma, go back to your room. I'll bring your food to you. Actually, I will eat at the dining today. At the dining? Yes. <laughs> okay, ma, I'll bring your food now. <laughs> what is that? Um, it's Diamond's diary, ma. Guess what? Madam asked to be served at the dining today. Oh, that's good. I think my madam is going back to her former self. Uh, are you done sweeping? Yes. Okay, quickly go and wash the car. You know it's part of your work now. Mm -hmm. Okay, be fast. If you come, I'll serve your food. All right. Hurry, go. <laughs> Dear diary, I'm not sad anymore. I wanted to wallow in sadness but now I've decided to be happy because that's the only way that everyone around me can be happy too. Mom, Dad and Peter are gone and no amount of tears will bring them back. I don't go to school anymore but I'm not worried about that. Jumai says that I can learn a trade when I get older. Madam Diane gave us a fright when she collapsed at the office and I was so scared that she'd die. I've lost so many people over the past few months that I don't want to lose anyone ever again. Not even Madam Diane. She might be harsh and unfriendly, but I don't hate her. Right now, she's the only family that I have. Last night, when she was asleep, I went to peek into her bedroom because I was scared she wasn't breathing. But she stared, so I ran away. Diamond. It's okay, come. Good evening, Ma. Come, please. Come closer. Come closer. It's okay. It was never your fault, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They hurt me and... I... I was hurting and then... You were the only person I saw. It, hurting you was almost like I was repaying them for what they did to me. But that is wrong. You are innocent in all of this. So please, can you find it in your heart to forgive me? Please? I forgive you. So, can, can we start all over again? 
I know you lost your parents. You're hurting. Can we heal together? I feel sad for Madame Diane because I know that mom hurt her. I promise that for the rest of my life, I will make up for my mother's mistakes and I will be by Madame Diane's side no matter how hard she hates me. That's the least that I can do. This is all my fault because if I weren't born, my dad would not have had a secret family. Everyone says Madame Diane is a nice lady and is always happy. But she changed because of what happened. I guess that's what betrayal does. Her heart was broken by the man she loved and that man was my dad. I hope that one day she goes back to being herself because I would really love to see her smile. My birthday is in a few days and my wish is that Madame Diane becomes the woman she once was. You so long, D. Why this flavor again is going to make me fat? All flavors will make you fat. Do Why you so mean? <laughs> Guess what? The architect just called that the new house is ready. Oh my god! Wow, I can't believe this. I can't wait to move into my own room. I'm going to make it all princessy and stuff. I rather your room reflects who you are. Yeah, that's what I said. I like princesses stuff. I want my room to look lovely and all pink. Okay, so you want to take a ride? Let's go see it. Okay. So, now to go in my. Oh. Some music. Oh, mommy, not this song. So old school. This is my car. Deal with it. <laughs> Nice. Okay, so you feed me my ice cream while I take us to where we're going. Mommy, uh, I'm going to make my own melt if I feed you. Thank you. Okay. Open wide. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> well, boom. Mm -hmm. Forgiveness is the key to living a beautiful life. Yes, my husband's betrayal and that left me with a broken heart but out of that great pain came a gift my daughter diamond and i am so thankful to start a life afresh with her with the pain behind us we will work together hand in hand as mother and daughter for the rest of our lives Oh uh -huh.